Welcome to Babs Projects. Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken lollipops. Chicken lollipops is my absolutely favorite all-time recipe. I love making them. I love serving them at my parties and they are usually a big hit at my parties. So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, make them. A little bit background about chicken lollipops. Um, I, it's an Indo-Chinese Indo recipe uh, that was uh, invented, uh, I'm thinking, in the restaurants of um, Bombay and it is such a clever recipe and uh, it uh, combines uh, Chinese ingredients with some basic Indian ingredients to come out with this fabulous appetizer. Uh, so if you join me, I will show you how to exactly make it, uh, this, exactly make this delicious and absolutely fantastic uh, appetizer. So I make my chicken lollipop recipe in two steps. The first, steps, uh, first step is to steam them and the second step is to fry them. And the reason for that is uh, the wings that we get over here in US um, are like huge and it will take a lot of time to fry them. Uh, so by steaming them, it becomes easier to fry them. Uh, so if you follow me, I'll let me first show you uh, the lollipops, the raw lollipops that I have prepared. So if you follow me, I can show you. So these are the raw lollipops that I've prepared. Uh, we don't get these ready-made. I have to make them and this whole part of the recipe is the most time consuming uh, to make them uh, into the shape. Uh, so I, I usually do this in advance, like a day in advance um, and the, before I have to actually make the recipe. So now if you see, I have all these ingredients laid out. Uh, so this is for the first step. So I'm going to marinate it with these ingredients. Obviously, I have the chicken lollipops, I have some soy sauce, I have uh, salt, ginger garlic paste, and some black pepper. So I'm going to add them one by one. This is the black pepper. I'm going to add half of this ginger garlic paste. The other half I'm going to use it in the second marinade. some salt, soy sauce and now I'm going to mix them. And I'm going to leave it for around 30 minutes to marinate in this mixture. So after 30 minutes of uh, marination, uh, I'm going to steam these chicken lollipops. I have already placed them on a plate. And for steaming, I'm using rice cooker, but you can use anything. You can use pressure cooker, you can use Instapot or any kind of steaming device you have. Uh, just remember to you know, push all the flesh down over here at the bottom so it holds its uh, lollipop shape. And I'm going to keep this, place it inside, cover it and steam it for 10 minutes. Let me just keep the timer. That's it. So while the chicken lollipops are steaming, I'm going to make the marination for my second step. Uh, and if you follow me, I'll show you all the ingredients. So I have the egg over here, ginger garlic paste, chili powder because we need it a little bit spicy, cornstarch, lemon juice, salt, and a little bit of water that is if it is required if the paste has become too uh, thick then i'm going to add it if it's the right consistency i'm not, uh, consistency then i'm not going to add it so let me make this marinade break the egg first oops let's beat it add the lemon juice Salt, if you need the ingredient list they are all up on my blog and I am going to put the link uh, down below so 
so you can get the exact measurements don't forget to check those out next I'm going to add the chili powder again now chili powder is personally up to you you can add little or more in restaurants they also add the red food coloring again that is totally up to you I sometimes like to use the I, I will use the food coloring sometimes if I'm making it for our house or for us I don't use the food coloring but if I'm making it for a party like setting then I use food coloring and then lastly I will add cornstarch and this is going to thicken but it's okay like I said, I'll add some little bit of water. Need a bit more. So this magnet is ready. Right now, I'll just I'm just going to wait for the uh, chicken uh, lollipops to finish steaming. And once those are done, I'm going to uh, allow them to cool and then I'm going to add them to this marinade. 10 minutes are over and uh, the chicken lollipops are done steaming. I've taken them out over here and uh, allowing them to cook. In the meantime, I wanted to show you uh, the marinade without the red food coloring, how it looks. And once I add, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to add some food coloring to give it that rich, vibrant uh, red color. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Couple of drops of couple of drops of red food coloring, and you can see instantly the color is transformed into this vibrant red. So I'm going to marinate the lollipops now. I like to use my hands to make sure that the marinade gets into all the sides. So these are done. I'm going to marinate it for like around five minutes before I fry them. And one important thing, the liquid that you see over here, uh, don't throw them. You can use those, uh, use, use it as a stock for if you want to make some soup or anything. So it already has the flavor of ginger garlic and uh, um, black pepper and everything. So don't waste it. So I've taken some oil in this uh, stock pot and uh, it has been heat it has been heating for some time now and I think it has reached the perfect temperature so I'm going to start frying the lollipops. I'll fry them in batches.
And the good thing about steaming them before is uh, when you go to fry it, you don't have to spend a lot of time frying it. This will be done like really quickly. Less, I mean, maybe a minute or so. That's it. I'm going to take it off the oil. And drain it on some paper towel. I'll just repeat the same thing with the, all the rest of these lollipops. As you can see, I've finished trying all of the lollipops and you can see how beautiful they look, how vibrant they are. And I already tasted one, I could not resist and they taste awesome. Uh, my, my kids, they just love this and if uh, they would finish this like in seconds. Uh, so um, if you like this recipe, if you enjoyed this recipe, um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and also let me know in the comments below a uh, reminder again all of the ingredients uh, the exact measurement of the ingredients everything is listed in my blog i'll post the link in the description below so just check it out uh, so see you until next time mm -hmm.